Hello friends. This is a video on how to get hormone replacement therapy in all different ways. You can we you can either go like super safe route, you know, get the therapist letter, get the prescription, go to Walgreens, get your prescription, all the way to using Bitcoin to find friends and countries in South America to buy your hormones from and do it DIY. And I've done both. I've done everything in between. I'm going to tell you how you can do it too. Disclaimer, I'm not telling you what to do. I am telling you that this exists and there is an option. It is your choice if you want to do it or not. That is up to you. But I will tell you that it's a thing that people do and people have done and people will do because gatekeepers are fucking terrible in this world. And if you're not an idiot, you won't hurt yourself. Okay, so first things first, get a therapist. Actually, no, no, no. Before that, end your personal stigma with therapy or counseling or seeing a professional who can help you with your mental health. Look, I have been going to therapy on and off for 16 years of my life. It's okay. It's okay. So there is no stigma, okay? If you need help developing more empathy or self-awareness, or you want to be more mindful. There's many different ways. There's many different reasons people go to therapy. I will be completely open and honest about my mental health. And I think it should be normalized because it makes it safer for people to talk about um, what they are personally going through. Second thing, find a therapist. So maybe you already have one where you live or you can see someone online. I personally went to psychologytoday.com and I just found a therapist, just like name and different um, special needs that you may have depending on uh, what you're going through and find someone. So for me, I found a great uh, therapist here in Boise and I, I see um, that person at least once a month. Uh, I, I want to be vague on it because this is some uh, private health information that I don't want to 100% disclose. Third thing is to find an endocrinologist. Now, I did a lot. Do your research. Do your research on everything, okay? So that's that should be like step after that. Step after um, ending stigma of mental health, and then do your research, and then find a therapist. So that's that's what we should do. So do your research on what estrogen will do to your body or what testosterone will do to your body. I don't know too much about the female to male transition. Actually, I don't really know anything at all, but I know a lot about the male to female transition. And a little tidbit here, if you're taking spironolactone, there is something that could be better for you. <clears throat> so I am personally with the Powers Family Medicine Clinic. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, and if you're into the very niche scene of transgender hormone science, you know that's a pretty big deal. So Dr. William Powers has a video up, which is called Healthcare of the Transgender Patient, which, had, which has a lot, of view, a lot of views on YouTube. Again, check the descriptions. It's going to have a lot of cool shit in there for you to learn. Um, lots of great education. This isn't hard knowledge. This is open source shit that anyone can look up and anyone can read. Anyone can go to their lab core or some other lab place. Get labs done. Check them out. Look at it and say, wow, this is where I was a month ago. This is where I am now. This is what I should change to make my process better. It's not fucking hard. I can do it. I've done it myself. Now I have a real professional, in my opinion, the best people in the world to be doing this at the Powers Family Medicine Clinic. And I'm doing great. I'm doing great.
my hormone transition process is much different. Um, there's been peaks and valleys, and um, I'm actually on a pause right now, but I'm on a pause on HRT right now, but I will get more into that later. Find an endocrinologist. Do your research. Your endocrinologist will probably need informed consent. That is where your therapist comes in. Hey, <clears throat> therapist XYZ, I would like to start hormone therapy. Here's an informed consent. Can we go over this together? Sure thing. Let's go over it. Uh, estrogen may do this to your body, might do that to your body. Here are some possible benefits. Here are some possible risks. Here are some things that might not be here are some things that might be irreversible. Okay, thanks. I'm informed. I'm signing, saying, yes, I want to do this. I am mentally sane enough to do it. And you do it. And guess what? You send it to your endocrinologist. Your endocrinologist gets that information. It's like, great. By the way, get your labs done. So for me, I go to LabCorp because they are everywhere and they accept my insurance. I get my labs done essentially they poke a needle through and they put like the little vial and you know you fill it up and then they process it for your hormone levels and once your uh, endocrinologist has that they will prescribe you a hormone regimen and it could change for everyone so for me i will tell you what my hormone regimen is so for the first month it was 50 milligrams bicalutamide six milligrams of estradiol daily orally. And then I got another lab review done. My endocrinologist recommended that I take my pills sublingually. For those who don't know, there are blood vessels right underneath your tongue. So the reason why people do things sublingually is because they get that dissolving under the tongue and it goes straight into your bloodstream. Whereas if you take it orally, you swallow it, it goes through your stomach, your stomach acid, you know, dissolves it. Then it passes through your liver. Your liver will sort things out and you will, you will have generally have a higher estrone level and a lower estradiol level, which is not what you want. You want a pretty low estrogen level and a pretty high estrog estradiol level. Again, I am not a fucking doctor. You can read this. You can ha talk to your endocrinologist yourself. I am just talking about things from me and my experience. Again, do your research. Talk to a professional. I am just telling you things that were uh, things from my perspective and things that I have learned that I am sharing. There are some things that I've said and I might say that is completely fucking wrong. Okay, so once your endocrinologist gives you your hormone regimen, you did it. Congratulations. You have your two amazing things and you are ready to start this journey. Be patient. Things will change. Time will come. I wish you the best of luck. But we're not done. You will need labs done at least every six months for me. I will personally do things every single month um, because I'm not afraid of giving blood. Well, let's say you don't really have that option. Well, there's this great thing. There's this great subreddit where you can learn how to do things yourself, which is called r slash trans DIY. I will link it below. You can explore it if you want, but I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you should do this or do that. I am telling you, hey, there is this resource that is available. There is this research resource that I used and I learned a lot from. There are a bunch of other links and a bunch of other subreddits that I will put in the link below. And I'll also have a link to a Google Drive document so you can think, look at things and look at updates because I'm probably going to update this video maybe in a year. Who knows? I remember when I was like 14 and I knew that being trans was a thing. And I I just knew I couldn't, I, I just wouldn't be able to do it. I just, I just knew like I would have to wait until I was an adult. And then lo and behold, I decided to join the military. But look, I'm 21 right now. 
I learned this at 14. I wish I started at 14. Oh, by the way, from 14 to 21, that's seven years. That's a third of my life that I could have changed, and I wish I did. The best time to start is when you're like 12, 13, 14, like prepubescent to start hormone therapy. Um, But if you can't do that, the best time to start, if you're ready, the best time to start is now. And it took me a long time to be comfortable and be in terms with me and my identity, which was really hard. And I still reflect on it. And um, it took me a long time to even accept it internally. It took a long time to do the research about things. It took a long time to reach out to the right professionals to do this. And it also took me a really long time to become more public and open and present with it. For some people, they might think that this is so sudden and this is like a new fad thing. It's not a new fad. This isn't some fucking trend, by the way. No, this is... For me, I have thought about this essentially a third of my life, like I said. And I knew I was... I knew I was... um, different with my identity and uh, my spirit is just it it is um ever evolving um I've known my whole life but I just didn't quite have the words for it I also moved around a lot in foster care so I didn't really have any depth or any any like foundation to have people really um see me grow so I've kind of lived my life (laughs) essentially by myself my entire life all that I can remember find a support system and look at the links below try and find a therapist try and find an endocrinologist and I wish you the best of luck I hope you learned some things here um, I, I know I went off topic a bit but that is how you get essentially that's how you go through the process of getting hormone replacement therapy you can also go through Planned Parenthood I just rather not because they use a W path method and they prescribe people spironolactone, which I will never take. That is that. If you have any questions, please message me personally. Uh, My Instagram is Cora Delta and um, subscribe if you would like to. You don't have to. I don't really give a shit. I'm here for you. I'm here for your education. I said that last time. And now I'm going to edit these two videos and see how this goes. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Bye.